Two years after Crossroads, authority was given by President Truman to proceed with Operation Sandstone. While the purpose of Crossroads had been to test the effects of atomic weapons, Sandstone's objective was to test new weapon designs. Planning for such weapons had begun many years earlier, when the scientists on Trinity had developed other experimental designs for atomic weapons, but were unsure of their success. This is the mile-high city of Los Alamos, the atomic city. This is a modern Pueblo created by the people of the United States as a research and development center for atomic weapons. Since any we talk is a distant and primitive area, men have to leave their stateside laboratories and homes for a period running into months. Since 1943, when Los Alamos was established, men from this mesa have left the continental limits of the United States to test the weapons they have created. A joint task force was created to head out once again to the Pacific and procure the islands of Eniwetok, some 200 miles west of Bikini, where crossroads had been staged. In early November, the first construction crews arrived to strip the islands of vegetation, grade the land, and lay down tar and asphalt for roads. Within six months, construction crews erected temporary housing for the many scientists and military personnel required for sandstone. Perched atop 200-foot steel towers, the three devices utilized on sandstone employed new technology to double the explosive force of the bomb using the same amount of plutonium spent over Nagasaki. This technology met Department of Defense requirements for more efficient bombs and increased the ability to stockpile nuclear weapons. Remote controlled tanks, guided by helicopter, recovered fission samples near ground zero to measure the intense neutron and gamma radiation. Radiochemical analysis of the polarized coral sand would yield secrets about the nuclear reaction and help in determining the efficiency of the new bomb designs. The results of sandstone affected the design of future nuclear weapons rendering the Mark III production components of the Fat Man bomb obsolete. The Mark IV and Mark V designs brought improved performance and lighter weight to nuclear weapons. Los Alamos National Laboratory Z Division evolved into Sandia Base, located at Albuquerque, New Mexico's Kirtland Air Force Base. Sandia's primary purpose was to engineer and manufacture deliverable nuclear weapons designed by Los Alamos. In October of 1949, Western Electric entered into a contract with the Atomic Energy Commission on a no-profit, no-fee basis to form the Sandia Corporation, which assumed control of the base from Los Alamos. Sandia brought assembly line techniques and mass production to nuclear weapons to build the nation's stockpile of tactical and strategic bombs.